This video will demonstrate how to export DXF data from the Allegro board file and cross-check the contents of the export data. You can share the visible items in the board file as a DXF using the DXF export option. After completing your placement, you can confirm your placement, outline, and mechanical placement details by sharing a placement DXF with the mechanical engineer. You can export the visible objects in the design window as a DXF using the command file export DXF. The DXF out window will pop up. Enter the name of the DXF file which you want as an output DXF file. I had given the name here as place underscore export dot DXF. Select the DXF format to be used. You can select revision 12 or revision 14. The default option is revision 12 with unfilled pads and shapes, which are backward compatible. You can proceed with the default setup. Select your output units and accuracy. The output units available are inches, mils, millimeter, centimeter, or microns. I had selected the units to be used as mils and accuracy as two. When you add the file name, the name of the conversion file has been added automatically, with an underscore I appended at the end of the name of the DXF file, you can use any default layers if you have, or you can use a layer conversion file from the library. The path of the library can be set from the miscellaneous path present in the library path from the Setup User Preferences tab. You can create a layer conversion file by selecting the edit option and matching the class and subclass to the DXF layer name. Select edit. The DXF out edit layer conversion file dialog box will pop up. You can use the filter option to view any specific class or subclass. Say you don't know what is present in the class package geometry and model outline then you can select that specific layer and choose to show the selected layers option. You can see in the design window you don't have any input that belongs to the class and subclass. You can restore the visibility to how it is present initially by using the option Restore Layer Visibility, which brings back the layers in the design window. I am going to show you the different options on how you can map the design data to the DXF layer. You can select all and select the use layer names generated from class and subclass names, which when selected is a combination of class and subclass. You can also select the subclass name only and map it to the DXF layer, or you can define a new DXF layer name you want to map to the class and subclass, and select the map button which maps the DXF layer name to the class and subclass. For exporting the DXF you can select the map the class and subclass names option and select OK to create a layer conversion file. The color mapping tab is set to match database colors. Enable do not create multi-segment polylines. You can leave other options blank. If you give an export option, the content of the board files will get transferred as a DXF. You can cross-check the exported DXF data by using the import DXF data option. Go to select, file, import DXF data, select the DXF file, select the units as mills, Select Edit or View Layers option, select All, and select View Selected Layers. The DXF will get loaded temporarily in the board file. You can see all the objects exported are present in the DXF data. That concludes the demo on how to import the DXF and cross-check the exported DXF data.